Great. Well, if there's no responses, I'll ask the next question. Um, well, so, may I oh, make go a ahead. response? I agree that if I, I would, in a heartbeat, vote for Bernie if he were the nominee. And it's, it, 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 again, the comportment between the two candidates, it is not a competition really between them. They are both qualified mm -hmm. candidates. It's just a personal choice, mm -hmm. which you're supporting. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, I, I, I would vote for Hillary in a heartbeat if she, mm -hmm. if she wins. If she wins over Bernie, it's, it's to the victor. <laughs> you feel the same way, Dennis? I do. Like I do. I think uh, Hillary Clinton, I volunteered on both of Barack Obama's campaigns, but at, at, no, at no time did I ever feel anything negative or a distrust or anything like that with Hillary. I think what you had commented on, that her keeping her family together through all of that, uh, that's one thing that uh, I admire in her, that she does have, she does have heels that she can back up and stand her ground and all over all the Benghazi stuff, she, she came through. Um, and like Bernie said, I've heard enough about those tapes and he defended her. So like I said, I am, I am for uh, Bernie Sanders, but uh, Hillary Clinton, she has my respect. Mm -hmm. And she was, I mean, her time as Secretary of State, she has worked tirelessly for women's rights and, and, and she has a great track record of international relations. She would be a great president in terms of globalization. She would really work. I mean, people would respond to her well internationally. And I think that that's, some, yeah. that's a positive thing about Hillary Clinton that I can right off the top of my head say. Well, and I think she's the guardian of our core values as a democracy. And when I say that, I think it's because I feel also she has a strong faith. And as a woman of faith, I'm inspired by things that she has chosen to do or been inspired to do herself. One of them is to take the state of Arkansas from being at the very bottom of all the ways that they talk about education and bringing them up into the top ten. That's an incredible feat. And for her to spend the time as the first lady of Arkansas putting that her interest in education and bringing that state up to be in the top 10 or whatever that exact number was, I don't exactly know what it is. But I also know as a protector of core values, that also strengthens our democracy. And to have people running around um, talking in ways that are unkind, that you can't even take your grandchildren to their, their uh, rallies because you're afraid of the things that they may say, mm -hmm. I trust Hillary to be on top of that. Did you feel, just since I was planning on asking this question later, but since you've already all answered it, uh, do you also feel that you would support Bernie Sanders if, if he were Absolutely. the nominee? Absolutely. Absolutely. Neither one of them has spoken in a way that makes me feel um, as though they're conflicted about people that they're supposedly going to be uh, shepherding, I guess. Uh, because they, uh, Hillary and, and Bernie both are people who have long, long roots in terms of um, demanding and getting respect for all kinds of people in all sorts of ways. And I'm just amazed that people can spend that much time in public life with all of the ugly things that are thrown at them and that they have to endure and still come out as though I use the word guardian of their core or their uh, basic values, I think it's amazing.